All right, I'm about to test this uh, ISC motor because I want to make sure that uh, I have it that's actually working correctly. Because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get everything, everything right this time. So I can tell you what, after doing some research, reading my books and stuff, I know a lot of things was not right with this car. So we're gonna have to uh, make things right. So it's working to its full potential. All right. So basically, what we have here is the ice ISC motor, the ISC, and um, I'm gonna test it. So basically, when you test it, you have it. Like you're sitting in front of it, have this little bottom screw or like triangle or whatever at the bottom here. Like I'm just making this video for myself because just to keep like a virtual video of all the shit I'm doing so I can come back and look at it in the future. Alright, so what we gotta do is test one and two, pins one and two, then two and three, then four and five, and five and six on this, okay, I'll zoom in a little bit here, so we can see what we're talking about here, let me get a little zoom, alright, here we go, so like I said, I need to test 1 and 2, which is right here, I'm going to test 1 and 2, resistance, then I have to test those, test 2 and 3, then I'll test 4 and 5, and then I'll test 5 and 6, so, in, in, when you look on the internet or whatever, it tells you what the resistance is for that. And I should have I have my little my little ECM link setup guidelines, which right here it says says you need to have the in between it's being between 28 and 32 resistance for this ISC 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 motor. Yeah, so. Let's get the testing. Right now we're gonna, we're gonna do we're gonna do one and two. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'll zoom yeah I'll zoom in. So I'm gonna get to my my meter here so you can see my meter as I'm doing this. Uh, you should be able to see that actually. I have my meter already set to resistance already, so that's not a problem. And we're gonna test right now. I'm gonna test one and two. You should be able to see that. All right, here we go. One and two. Remember between twenty-eight, twenty-eight and wait, let me just do that. Double check. Between twenty-eight and thirty-two. Alright, let's go. One and two. And there and there. Alright. Seeing twenty-nine point seven, twenty-nine point eight. So that's that's within the spec. Now we're gonna do that was one and two, now we're gonna do two and three. Mm -mm. I'm not getting anything. You can see I'm not getting anything on here. So this this coil is dead. Between the two and three is dead. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now we're gonna do four and five. All right, four and five. Let me get it on there. Four and five. Nothing. This one's dead too. Dead too. As you can see on that on the thing, I ain't doing nothing. And now we're gonna do four. We're gonna do five and six. All right, five and six is reading. Is it reading anything? Oh, we got something in to see. I'll get it right. Five and six is reading 29.30, 29.9. So basically, basically, let's zoom in here. Let's zoom in so we see my pins here. So there we go. So basically, one and two was good. One and, two, one and two was good. Uh, two and three was dead. Four and five was dead because they're at zero. And then five and six was good. So basically, this is a uh, dead. It's not good. It's not a good one. I need, I need to find one. I'll probably go to the junkyard or something and get one that's working. What I'll do is I'll just, I'll just bring the, um, what do you call it? Just bring the multimeter with me. To the junkyard, so I'm gonna buy something that's messed up. But there you go. There's something on this car from the past that wasn't even set up, wasn't even right. Look at that. It's crazy. And this right here affects idle, so 
There you go. Now I gotta go to the junkyard.